let's understand batch processing in hibernate with an example shown is one of the ways of updating the values in database we get the session and begin the transaction write the required query in order to get the entries or rows which needs to be updated we create the query by using session dot create query get the list of all the objects and then use the for loop to loop through these objects and change the necessary attribute value and after changing the same we invoke the save or update method in this case we are executing the save project method which internally creates a session and calls the save or update method this is not the preferred way of updating values since the value is updated for each row at a time and it is not like the normal update which will update all the rows in one go so let's see how to get update or delete operations by using hql hibernate batch processing mainly supports following two types of processing one is update processing and other is delete processing let's understand each of this with an example shown is the batch processing update operation in which we create a session and write a query in which we update the necessary entities and set the necessary attribute we can also use the where condition if we want only some rows to be affected we create the query by using session dot create query and finally execute update by using the query the execute update will return us the number of rows which were affected due to the above query thus this update works more like the sql update in which all the required rows are updated in one go hence this method should be preferred from the earlier method which we saw shown is the batch processing delete method in which again we create a session begin the transaction and write a delete query delete query is of form delete the entity name where some condition in this case we are using where project name is equal to senior project next we create the query by using session dot create query and execute update on the same now execute update will again return us the number of rows it affects thus we have seen two types of batch processing using hibernate the final step is to test the application and the same is done by using batch processing class in which we have a main function in which we invoke the update method let's execute this program and find out the corresponding output on executing the program the following update query gets fired update project set project name is equal to senior project and we get two rows which are updated now let's see this effect in database shown is the project before and after firing the update query before firing the query there were two project names first project and second project after executing the update operation we are getting both the values as senior project this is as per the query which we wrote next let's see the delete operation next to test the delete operation we invoke the same within our main method on executing the above program the following delete statement is fired which affects two rows in our database let's see the corresponding effect in database shown is the database before and after firing the delete query before firing the delete query we had two entries 
After firing delete query, we have no entries in the project table. Thus, we have successfully seen the batch processing, update and delete operation supported by Hibernate.